Oh, Larry boy, we need you now to show the way to save the day to save the town. Now from the cave, the tires squeal, and to the rescue comes a cucumber of steel. Oh, Larry boy, oh, boy. we need you here. Oh, yeah. So won't you come and let a super suction in here? Oh, Larry boy, oh, boy. the dynamite. Oh, Fighting what is wrong, standing up for what is right. Cause what the world needs now is a hero. One who's kind and true and brave and bold. If you haven't guessed yet, then it's time you know. Cause what the world needs now is a hero. One who's kind and true and brave and bold. If you haven't guessed yet, then it's time you know. town of Bumbleburg, and everyone is happy. Well, everyone except one. Help! We're too high! Too high! Oh, oh the height! Getting dizzy! Can't breathe! Oxygen! Thin! Uh, Master Larry, the, the ride hasn't even started yet. I knew that. Help! Alas, Larry and Archibald's gleeful revelry is not to be. For at that moment, trouble rears its unwelcome head. Uh-oh. Sounds like someone needs a hero. Oh, bother. I never get to ride the Ferris wheel. The cotton candy machine has gone crazy! Oh, the horror! The pink, fluffy horror! Looks like this carnival is in need of a hero! I am that hero! Larry boy, thank heavens you've arrived. Don't worry, Officer Olaf. I know how to take care of a rogue confectionery device. Way to go, Larry boy. Once again, you've saved the day. Three cheers for Larry boy! Ah. I think the cotton candy machine is about to explode. Not now. They're about to cheer me. This will take forever to clean up. Hello. Herbert and Wally. Cotton candy? All we can eat, and it's free. Well, that's better. But why do you think the machine went berserk like that? I think I may have found a clue. Ultra Sucrose Enhancement Catalyzer. Great Gardens! Chemical Sabotage! That can only mean one person. Kevin the Clown? No, the Alchemist. That's right, the Alchemist. You won't get away with this. Hey, Larry boy. Wanna smell my flower? Wow, I like to smell flowers. <laughs> it's a trap. Hold your breath, Larry boy. You're no match for me, pickle boy. Good catch, Officer Olaf. Ah, uh, twerned nothing. Hey, pickle boy, you sure are a lousy superhero. What do you mean? I caught you. You caught me? <laughs> I would have gotten away clean if it wasn't for Officer Olaf. Well, maybe, but I saved everyone from the cotton candy machine. Don't make me laugh. It was Herbert and Wally that saved the day. Those guys are the real heroes. No, I am that hero. Well, if you're a superhero, you're the worst hero ever. You're not even the least bit super. <laughs> ah. 
And what dark figure is this? Could it be the alchemist partner in crime? Our evil scheme is working. The orange chemical spray has soaked into his costume. Soon Larry Boy will unwittingly be helping us take over Humbleyburg. <laughs> Later that night, Larry Boy attends his weekly superhero class. As superheroes, many of you get used to feeling, well, super. Psst. Lemon Twist, did you ever need help from others to fight crime? Of course not. I use my superpowers to create Gale Force wins. Oh, neat. Who's Gale? But sometimes superheroes don't feel super. What then? I got it. Gail's your secret identity. Shh! I'm trying to listen. The way to feel super again is to build others up, not to make them feel small. I bet you can't guess my secret identity. Be quiet. Turn in your superhero handbook to section 40, chapter 23, line 12. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. You should not put others down to make yourself feel better. Are we clear, superheroes? Yes, yes, Master, yes Choi. Master Choi. I know. Gail's your crime-fighting sidekick. No. Your email screen name? No. Your pet chihuahua? Be quiet! Gale sure is a nice name. Okay, so maybe I did need some help to catch the alchemist. I'm still more super than anyone else in Bumbleburg. Wow, I'm free! I'm free! Help! Help! Officer Olaf, you think I'm super, right? Not now, Larry boy. The alchemist escaped with the help of his evil partner. I bet Archie still thinks I'm super. Larry boy? Larry boy? Oh, Larry boy! Help! Hey, someone needs my super help. Never fear, good citizen. Super Larry boy is here to help. What super thingy may I do to serve you? Thank goodness you're here. The alchemist has escaped. You must find Officer Olaf. Officer Olaf? I'm the superhero. Oh? I heard Officer Olaf caught the alchemist last time. Ha! Officer Olaf's no big deal. Without me, he couldn't catch anything. Not even a smelly old sock puppet. With a broken leg. Officer Olaf's no big deal. Ah, I'm teeny tiny. Ah! Good job, Cubby. Mom, I told you not to call me that. Of course, dear. Soon Bumbleberg will be all ours. And all thanks to Larry Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Percolating peanuts. Looks like Officer Olaf has a little problem. Hey! No little jokes. Uh, sorry. The next day, mild-mannered Larry the Janitor is still worrying if he's really super. Vicky, uh, Junior, I need you to get over to the Bumbleberg City Park right away. Uh, they're dedicating that new superhero statue. Superhero statue? Got it, Bob. We're on our way. Uh, Larry, you're standing on my superhero statue. I guess if there's a new statue of me, somebody must think I'm pretty super.
to honor the heroes who saved us from the alchemist. Herbert, Wally, and Pickle Boy? Who donated the statue? I did. I'm glad those boys finally got some credit. But why are they so much bigger than me? Well, they were the true heroes. Herbert and Wally? They're just a couple of big mouths. Compared to me, they're just a couple of, of minis. Just a couple of, of minis. Hey, my donut is growing. Cool. Wally, is this heaven? No, it's a jelly filled. Hey, Officer Olaf, I brought some friends for you. Give us our donuts back. Whatever your twisted plan is, Alchemist, Larry Boy will stop you. On the contrary, Larry Boy is helping us. Oh, Mom, it's you. Yes, Cobby. Now, why don't we show the Officer how we plan on taking over Bumbleberg? the cotton candy machine to lure Larry Boy to the carnival. Ah! Then we sprayed Larry Boy with a special chemical that I designed. It has a very interesting effect. Now, every time Larry Boy puts someone down to build himself up, part of the chemical escapes and shrinks that victim. Mom, I'm telling a story. That's right, Cobby. You tell it. Mom! Of course, dear, the alchemist. Then, Mother Pearl took Larry Boy into feeling unsuper. Before long... Larry Boy was putting others down to build himself up. I wanted to say that part. Go ahead, Cobby. Never mind. Just... Just show the next slide. Oh! Uh. How did that get in there? Oh, you were so cute when you were a baby. Anyway, soon the whole town will be shrunk, and I, the alchemist, will rule Bumbleberg. <laughs> <laughs> and now we shall let Lady Boy finish what he started. What's wrong, good citizen? Nothing. I was just hoping someone super would show up. Well, you're in luck. I'm the most superest guy in all of Bumbleberg. <laughs> you? Well, yeah. Come on. There must be lots of people in Bumbleberg more super than you. Like who? Well, how about the police chief? Chief Croswell? He's not super at all. He's just got a big desk, that's all. Okay. Well, how about Junior Asparagus? A pipsqueak. A pipsqueak. Vicky. A nobody. A nobody. Bob the Tomato? You mean that short, round, bad-tempered, silly editor of the Daily Bumble? Why, he couldn't clean his own office without me. No one in Bumbleberg is as super as me. In fact, compared to me, all of Bumbleberg is worthless. All of Bumbleberg is worthless. 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 That's just what I wanted to hear. So, do you think I'm super? No. Bye. 
Nobody thinks I'm super. Maybe I'll just go back to the Larry Cave for a bubble bath. <laughs> Archie, where do we keep the bubble bath? Archie, where are you? Over here, on the chair by the Larry computer. Uh, no, uh, down here. Gee, Archie, what are you doing down there? An orange cloud surrounded me, and I shrunk. Oh, that's too bad. But it's not just me. Using our cumulus spectroscope, I can see orange clouds appearing all over Bumbleburg. I trace the clouds to the edge of town. The alchemist's lair. I'm on it. You'll never get away with this, alchemist. Yeah, but... Larry Boy will never find me. Alchemist, I have found you. Crack. Mother! Larry Boy, we prepared a surprise for you in case you showed up. We did? I mean, uh, we did. The Altered Ego Machine. The Altered Ego Machine. The Altered Ego Machine. What's an Altered Ego Machine? It takes your supercharged ego cloud and turns it into a supercharged version of yourself! <gasps> oh, Alter Ego. Yuck! Larry Boy! Don't worry, citizen! I'm sick! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, stop! You can't do this! You're only a cheap copy of me! Cheap copy of me! <laughs> Every time you try to build yourself up by making someone else feel small, you only make alter ego stronger! Every time I try to build myself up by making someone else feel small? That sounds familiar. The way to feel super again is to build others up, not to make them feel small. Oh, yeah, I remember. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exhausted. Bok Choy was right. I am exhausted. No, it's whoever humbles himself will be exalted. To reverse the damage, you must be humble. Oh, I get it. Whoa! Oh. Alter Ego, don't let him get away. He can't beat you. That's true. I can't beat you. What? Well, at least not by myself. I need help from guys like Archie or Officer Olaf. I don't know what I'd do without him. Then there's Bob. He's always had good advice for me. In Junior, he may be a small type, but boy, is he sharp. In Wally and Herbert, they're so much fun. And that Vicky, well, she's a real go-getter. In fact, everyone in Bumbleburg is pretty nifty. I'm lucky to call him friend. You may have foiled my evil plan, Larry Boy, but you'll never catch your mother and me. I won't have to. What? Oh, you guys are in big trouble! 
Everyone stay back, or the tomato gets hit. Careful, everyone. That flower's loaded. <laughs> and did I ever mention how much I respect the chemistry profession? What are we going to do? I'd use my plunge of ears, but I might hit Bob. Don't worry, guys. We've got it covered. Operation Jelly Belly, belly, belly Floppy belly. Whoppy. Wah! Oh! Cubby! You have always been such a clutch! No! Ma! Don't! Such a clutch! Stop calling me Cubby! and you're out, pickle boy. Hey! Let me out! Thanks, Larry boy. Now move it along, you two. You won't get away with us, Larry boy! We'll get you yet! Don't worry. Bumblebird will be ready for you, Cubby. Wah! Gee, Larry boy, once again you've saved Bumblebird. Aw, thanks, but I did it with a lot of super help. Aw, uh, you're the best, Tickle Boy. Hey! Only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> seem to be unusually quiet for a Tuesday. Especially considering this Tuesday happens to be my birthday. I'm sure the good people of Bumbleburg wouldn't forget me on my birthday. Or just maybe. Hello there, Mr. Mahoney. Oh, hello there, Larry boy. Is there anything special happening around here today? Well, no, but... Yes? Well, I wanted to run out to mail some letters, but I've got no one to watch the store for me. I'll watch the store for you, Mr. Mahoney. You will? You certainly are a friend to all the citizens of Bumbleburg. <laughs> oh, and Larry, be a good lad and help out anyone who comes in the shop, won't you now? Hello there, Mr. Vanderhosen Hagenmeyer. How's the candle making business? Well, hello there, Larry boy. Have you seen Mr. Mahoney about? Well, he's out now, but he left me in charge. That's just terrible. You see, he usually helps me out on Tuesdays. Now I've got to do some shopping, and I have no one to watch the store for me. Well, I suppose things are a little bit slow around here, and I... Oh, that would be great. Guess I could help watch your star. Thanks, Larry boy. You're a friend to all the citizens of Bumbleburg. May I help you? Hello? I would like to buy a cookie, please. Ah, <gasps> uh, can you excuse me for just a moment? I'll be right back. May I help you, ma'am? Is that you, Mander Vogenhausenfeffer? Actually, that's Vander Hosenhagenmeyer, but I'm Larry Boy, ma'am. Uh, Larry Mander Hosenmeyer? No, Lander Mary Hosen. Uh, Vander Larry Hosen. Mike. Uh... Oh, enough about that. I want to see a candle. Which one, ma'am? Hmm. I, I want to see that one. Right. Just not sure. Hmm. 
Can you excuse me for a minute? Uh, I just wanted to get a cookie. Yes, yes. Here you are. Watching the store. Yeah. Well, I need to put in an important order for a dozen candles. Oh, don't you worry. I can handle it. Good afternoon, Ma Mushroom. Don't you sweet talk me, young man. Sweet. Hi. Can I help you? I was just coming for some peanut butter cookies. Oh, they make them so nice. Right. Oh, oh, I'm almost to forget. I also need to put in an order for a cake. Cake, okay. right. It's just supposed to be a birthday cake, but it's supposed to be assigned a happy birthday to, uh, to, uh, uh... Yes? To, uh, I can't remember. Now I'll get back to it. Just to remember, the cake. She's supposed to read the Happy Birthday, Larry Boy. Uh, uh, by the way, I'd like to run out and give you something for your birthday. Uh, hey, you uh, think you could wash my store for a few minutes? Uh... Bubble bath. 